Okay, well, hello and good morning, everybody at Butcher Boys and everybody else, wherever you may be. Uh, today, we're going to take one of your wonderful lamb shanks and prepare our Sunday lunch using the recipe that you provided us on your Facebook page. Um, maybe with one or two very minor uh, changes or additions. I hope you won't mind about that. So what I'm going to do to start with is take the onion and one of the carrots uh, and my first small addition is a piece of celery. So I'm going to take these three ingredients, cut them up into very small pieces and then fry them for about 15 minutes in some olive oil and that will be what is called a mirepoix uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about mirepoix in a moment um, and after about 15 minutes add the cloves of garlic uh, chopped up and cook them for about five minutes more. So after about 20 minutes, we should have a prepared mirepoix. Okay, so here we have our mirepoix uh, cooked off. Uh, and this really is the, the base for almost all classical French cuisine. Uh, in Italian, the same thing, they call it soffritto but it's the same idea, uh, and in, in the Caribbean, in, in Creole and Cajun cookery, rather than the carrot, they substitute the carrot for a red pepper, but it really is the same principle. And although it may not look exciting on its own, believe me, if we had smelly vision, you would be able to smell that, that gorgeous aroma. And it really is the base and the starting point for so many soups, sauces, uh, casseroles, ragouts, jambalaya, uh, chili con carne, you name it, this is, this is where it all starts off from. Okay, so now I'm going to take the lamb shank, I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper, uh, then pop it in a pan of, uh, with a little bit of olive oil uh, and brown it off for five minutes or so, so that it's nice and brown on both sides. Uh, and then I'm going to pop the lamb shank into a casserole dish like this. I'm going to add some stock which I will make up with my stock cube. I'm going to add my rosemary, bay leaf, carrot cut up into slices, a bit of balsamic vinegar, my mirepoix back into the pan as well and then I'm also going to add a little squirt of tomato ketchup, uh, tomato puree as well to the mix. Uh, and hopefully, if that all goes well, it should end up looking like this. Okay, so I probably should have pointed out at the beginning that I'm only cooking for the two of us uh, today. So all our portions that we're using are half of those uh, in the recipe. But otherwise, we've been pretty faithful to it. But I do have one other uh, adaptation we're, we're planning to do. Uh, rather than the uh, red wine, uh, we're going to add some port instead, which is that much stronger and that much sweeter um, and gives it that, that extra richness, which I like. Um, almost only if you put port in, you don't need to worry about adding a spoonful of sugar. That, that won't be necessary. So add the port to the casserole dish. Um, and then what I do is Cover the dish um, in, in aloo foil, a double, a double layer of aloo foil is fine. Uh, pop that into the oven uh, for about three hours. Uh, and about halfway through, after an hour and a half, just take it out, check it's okay, and turn the shank over so that both sides of the shank sit in the, uh, in the wonderful juices and absorb all the flavors uh, and don't dry out. Uh, and then for the final, uh, after three hours, take off the aloo foil uh, covering, pop it back into the oven for another hour so that the top of the lamb shank goes nice and brown and crispy. Uh, so, in four hours, we should have our final dish. And here is the finished result. 
hopefully it's going to taste as good as it looks. Um, being British, uh, I couldn't resist uh, adding some mint to the overall meal. So we'll be serving the lamb with some uh, mint sauce, um, some crispy, crunchy roast potatoes, uh, a cauliflower cheese, uh, and some minted peas. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, so we're all ready to eat now. Uh, thanks again, Butcher Boys, for the recipe. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Oh, and as I said, we definitely won't be wasting that glass of red wine. Cheers. Cooking, cooking, cooking in the kitchen of love.